I'm John, and this is Joan, <laughs> and uh, today we're going to go over this piece of machinery that I really don't know much about, so he's going to tell me all about it. All right, this is the Hearn Model 750. You know, this uh, unit has been made in the same configuration uh, longer than both of us have been alive. Maybe you put together. <laughs> the good thing about this is, um, you know, it's a proven design, it's a proven unit. Uh, very rugged. It's still built the exact same way, so you know it's uh, not been lightened or cheapened like most uh, most things that you buy uh, today. Uh, it is very you know very easy to use. Uh, like I said, well built, serviceable. You know this uh, type of machinery will last a lifetime. You know it's uh, definitely been been made to use. You know not made to uh, what I consider throw away like most things. seed in there, anything from your smallest, you know, clovers and alfalfas all the way up to some of the, the bigger grasses. You can even put some of the light stuff like, uh, let's say, orchard grass in this machine. Oh, wow. So, I mean, obviously it's going to have a very broad scope of use. Um, is this one of the pieces that you might use uh, salt and sand on, or is that one of our different ones? You know, it's going to look very similar. You know, we actually make this unit in two different configurations. This is a seed and fertilizer unit, okay, and we call it the 750C, but we also make one called the 750S. Now, to most people, it's going to look identical. You know, you would not be able to tell the difference. Uh, but there's a few telltale things that we can look at uh, to help you differentiate between the two. The first is when you go to the salt and sand unit, it has a sand screen. It will have a uh, a screen on top, and that keeps some of the bigger uh, granules, and if sand gets stuck together or you have rocks in it, it will keep them filtered out and not get them down into the hopper. Uh, the agitator is quite a bit different. There is a, um, a very large, I'm going to say aggressive agitator that goes in there for the wet salt and sand. Uh, and the third difference is the gearbox. When we run the seed and fertilizer, we run uh, just a standard 540 gearbox. Uh, when we go to the salt and sand, we need to slow it down just a little bit because just the, the heaviness of the, the wet sand and just the consistency, we need to slow the RPMs down. And so we run a reduction gearbox in that one and it will have a red face on it. So if you see one that's got a red face down there, uh, we paint each one of them so you can you know, distinguish the two gearboxes because they are identical otherwise, besides the internal, which you would not be able to see unless you took it apart. Uh, but they are actually very similar, very similar units. What kind of vehicles can this unit be mounted on? Well, this is a tractor mounted unit. Um, this is going to be a three point. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and spin this thing around just to kind of show you that. Let me, let me turn this card around so we can see it. Okay. Say this is a category one uh, three point. You know, here's your lower pins for your lower lift arms and your upper pin for your for your top length. And it does come you know with the PTO shaft, you know, for 540. Uh, we do have thousand RPM uh, gearboxes and PTO shafts available for some of the bigger units, especially if you're gonna put them on a larger, you know, farm top tractor okay. instead of a compact. No, actually, I think these date back into the 40s. Holy smokes. Yep. Yeah, I think they started these. These were some of the first units that they made at Herd Cedar. Um, and like I said, they've been made the same way ever since. We even have some of the same jigs that they were made from back then. And we still use them to this day. Uh, some of the stuff that is stamped, yeah, we still use the same dies in, in the press to stamp out some of the smaller components. Um, yeah, it's, it's virtually the same unit. The good thing about that is, you know, let's, let's say you buy one here, and, and you know, 30 years down the road, you need some replacement parts. You know, as long as we keep building that thing the same way, you know, I don't need to know your serial number or anything like that. I know if you have a 750 that, you know, 
you have the exact same setup, you know, the same gearbox, you know, the same spinner plate, and it's all interchangeable. So, you know, you can give me a call before noon, I can get your parts out the same day, most of the time. Awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about operation? Like, what is this handle here in office for? That handle is to open and shut your seat gate. Okay, on a broadcast spreader, you know, you've got a seat gate in the bottom of the hopper, and there's going to be an opening, okay? You're going to look on a chart. There'll be a, a chart on the side of the hopper here, and tell you your desired opening for what species you're going to, or uh, fertilizer rate you're going to put out. So, you know, the hand operates the open shut, and you do have a stop that is movable here, and it has increments, uh, so you can adjust it. Uh, you know, anywhere between, I think, a sixteenth of an inch is probably the minimum opening, and it goes all the way to two inch would be the maximum. Oh yeah, that's all right here, right on the side of the yeah. And you do have the seating and fertilizer charts right on here. Yes sir, yes sir we do. And there's a really nice warning here to keep your fingers away from that splitting blade, spinning blade, that's, that's probably important. That is very important, uh, you know, I imagine <laughs> that stuff is pretty strong. It, it is, it is. Your fingers are not going to fare well against that fan. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, just saying. Yeah. That is awesome. Man. That is awesome. You sell a lot of these? We do, we do. Of the white line units, this is probably the most popular one. You know, we make this in a 550, which is virtually the same unit. It's just got a lower profile hopper for some of the subcompacts. Um, then we have, of course, a 750. We go to the 1200, which is about twice this size. Um, very similar, um, you know, I'm going to say guts to it, same spinner fan and, and gearbox, just a larger capacity hopper. And then, of course, the large one, uh, the big boy, the, the 2440, holds 2,400 pounds of material, and it's the largest one in the, in the herd cedar lineup. Uh, and I'm guessing that you sell this mostly to folks in the agricultural industry, but I would imagine there's a lot of landscaping, snow removal people that are really after these. Oh, yes, yes. No, I, I would limit it to one, um, to one you know, venue. You know, we definitely sell some to landscapers, but we sell a lot of these to small-scale farmers, homesteaders, um, you know, the salt and sand units, we send tons of those to the northeast. They're probably one of the uh, more popular salt sand spreaders for that area. Uh, so everybody, you know, I've seen people spread anything from, you know, fish food uh, to uh, a very minute amounts of micronutrients that they're doing for small scale, you know, organic style farming. Oh, very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of snow up on the north northeast there. I'd imagine a lot of salt doesn't really do the trick. You're gonna have to throw a little sand on that ice, get, get a little grit in there. Is that what that's for? That is, that is. And they have their own sand up there. They actually call it sugar sand, and it's quite a bit finer than the sand that we have in our area. So we actually made an agitator specific for that sugar sand. And as a matter of fact, we actually adopted it for all units. It actually works well with all types of sand. But you know, the sand they use up there is a little different. And we do have it tuned in for that specific sand, um, and, and all sands for that matter. So, yeah, it's definitely a lot more popular in that area because of the amount of snow. If you put if you put salt on every time it snows in the northeast, uh, <laughs> you would never have a yard. There would never be any grass on the right. side of the road. I mean, you would just be piling salt up, you know. Uh, so, so the sand is very important. That makes sense. Now, does this unit come with an uh, owner's manual that's going to run me down on, on how to oh, use it when it shows up? Yep, yep. See, we send them a complete. The only thing that you would need to do is, of course, you remove your PTO shaft, and there is one pin um, that affixes it to the gearbox, and, of course, your owner's manual is right here on the, on the PTO shaft, and it has all your settings. And, of course, you know, if for some reason you ever lost it, you know, we do keep seat charts and the basic information on the side of the hopper here. But if you go to our website, we also have all the manuals there. Um, if you did need a quick reference and you just didn't happen to have it on. What's your, what's your website? It is uh, cascomfg.com. As a matter of fact, we'll just show you that. So if you go to our website here, you can definitely you know, see all of the uh, owner's manuals and um, you know, information on most of the units that we have. So it's definitely a good tool to use. All right. Well, thank you so much, John. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good day. Check us out.